today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you a couple of very easy to use teaching tools that I've made. And I'm also going to show you a quick way of creating basic mind maps. This is a tool made by a good friend of mine. So let's just dive into it. These tools are available on my website. You can go to satydeclerc.com slash teaching tools. I'll leave a link in the description and you will see all the tools that I have created so far. Now, the reason for making these tools is really because I was in need of them myself. I wanted to use some of these tools in my class, but I found that all the ones online that I could find were either full of distractions. They had ads left, right, top, bottom, flashing colors, lots of sound effects and it was distracting. I needed something very basic, clean, and easy to use. A tool that I can use during my teaching that will not distract the students. On my website, you can find the teacher tools in the top corner. Click on teacher tools, and that brings you to this page. Scrolling down, you'll see we have some primary and EYFS tools. The first one is a greater than, less than visualizer. You can click on the link, and all it is is a simple visualizer that allows you to drop counters on one side, drop counters on the other, and it will tell you whether it's greater than, less than, or equal to. Because I want this to be a useful teaching tool, again, there are no distractions, no ads, and you can either show words and symbols, just the words, just the symbols, or hide it all together. A tool that you can use to visualize concepts that you are trying to explain to your students. Another one that I've created is a number generator. Again, many number generators I found online were full of flashing colors, animations, very noisy. This is great sometimes, but other times you need it to be as basic as you can. So here you can select numbers 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 50, or 1 to 100. And then when you generate a number, you get that number. You can generate different numbers by clicking on generate number and you can remove the number from the sequence. At the bottom, it gives you an overview of how many numbers are left. So you can see as I remove numbers, we have less numbers left. This is to make sure that it's not always the same number showing up. Basic number generator. Another tool that I've made is a 10 frame tool. This is a tool that will let you visualize 10 frames. I wanted to be able to either toggle the count or have it visually at the bottom. So you can see here, as I'm adding different counters, it is counting those for me, but I can hide that. So if I want my students to count it, to let me know what they spot, again, I can hide the count at the bottom. Great when you're doing subitizing in class with very young students. You can use different types of 10 frames. We have a horizontal one, a vertical, double horizontal, double vertical, Use any of these you'd like. You can clear them at the top. And again, this website is available completely free of charge, no ads, nothing like that. Another tool that I wanted to show you is a word highlighter. And then we have this paint tool. This came from a lesson where I needed a very basic painting tool. And I found that some of the applications available on the laptops or online were incredibly overwhelming. Lots of boxes, lots of additional things that the students didn't really need. Well, this one has 10 basic colors. You can increase the size of your brush and that's all you can do. You can draw using these 10 colors. You can clear your picture, save your picture, or you can use the eraser to get rid of your picture. You can change the size of your brush and you can reset by clearing all. Only four buttons and 10 colors. A basic painting application. Scrolling down, we have some computer science specific tools. If you're a computer science teacher or you are teaching some computer science lessons, these are more aimed at key stage two, key stage three. So one example is the binary visualizer. I wanted to be able to visualize what binary is and how it correlates between binary, which is base two and decimal base 10. So for example, if I turn on this bit, is the decimal equivalent of one. If I turn on these two bits, it's the decimal equivalent of three. So zero, zero, one, one is three. If I have one, zero, one, one, that would be the equivalent of 11. And because it's visual, and because the lights are turned on, you can visualize those decimal numbers as binary quite easily using this tool. 
Then the next step would be to play a little game. And this is a conversion tool that lets you convert binary to decimal. And then we have a time challenge. This is then to gamify it. They get a binary sequence with zeros and ones, and they have to find the correct decimal equivalent. It is time to so this 30 seconds, one minute, two minute, five minute time challenges. Let's see what their best score will be. Now, these are some of my tools. I will keep adding tools to this website. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any tools that you would like to see added, things that you are using in your classroom or you've used before and you find the ones that you're using overwhelming or too noisy or too messy. Let me know and I'll see if I can create something and pop it onto the website. Now, a good friend of mine did this to mind mapping tools. He needed very basic mind mapping. And so what he created was a very basic mind mapping tool. Again, this will be linked in the description below as well as a video to his overview of the complete mind mapping tool. So here, for example, I can type teaching tools. Okay, I'm going to add two nodes, a child node. One will be made by James. And back to the teaching tools, another will be made by Seti. These are the tools I've made. Okay, let's color these. So we're going to put our names in blue. We can add the teaching tools. Let's make purple. And then James has made a lovely mind mapping tool. So I'm going to add a child node, say mind mapping. And then I've made, for example, the um, 10 frame tool. So we're going to add 10 frame. You can also add in another tool that I've made, which is the word highlighter tool. It's another tool that you'll find on that website. And there we go. We have a very basic mind mapping tool. You can then export this. You can even download the JSON file or export a PowerPoint now. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below. I also want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members as well as our Patreon supporters. They get early access to all the videos as well as some additional benefits. And if you want to see these videos completely ad-free, then Patreon is the place to be. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.